Oh, let's try that again. Howdy, sports fans. Your old pal, Stevie Coyle. I think that's what I said the first time. When we were in portrait mode, let me make sure that I'm framed properly here. Checking, checking to make sure I'm not talking to a slab of glass for no reason at all. Wait, hey, I think we're happening. It's your old pal Stevie Coyle here, webcasting as usual. Friday, shortly, fairly shortly after noon. Where are we today? 38 minutes <sighs> after noon. This used to be a noontime webcast. So, oh, good heavens, five of you have logged on already. Thank you very much for either sticking around or coming back or tuning in, whatever's happening. Much better, yes, Nancy, much better. I'm better, I'm arguably better upright than I am sideways. It's not the first time I've heard that. There we go, Kenneth, nice to see you. Mike Tatarakis, terrific. John Kressich, Nancy Paul, all right. You're not Mrs. Paul. I always wondered what happened to Mr. Paul. First time you've heard that, I'm sure. Just one guitar to show you today, and I'll wait for just a little bit, and I'll see if I can't get my hands to warm up a little bit. The shop is only, um, including the storage room, is only 500 square feet. But on a day like this, it takes a while for it to warm up, and I'm afraid I didn't get in early enough to really warm it up properly, which is probably just as well, so all the guitars can kind of stay at their usual cool temperature. Never gets terribly cold here in, in uh, the San Francisco Bay Area probably down in the in the 50s, around 60. That's going to be okay for any old guitar, probably. Hey, JD. Nice to see you. Good, good. Great. JD Miller is on. Hairy, but better. I know. My gosh. This isn't hair. These are nerve endings. I don't know. This, uh, this, this look is going away very soon. It's, I've never had my hair long. And actually, you know, this is one of my great accomplishments during COVID was growing my hair long. I've never had hair so long that it gets in my food while I'm eating. That's when you know your hair is too long and when you look like aqua lung. That's probably two things you should consider as to whether or not you need a, a haircut COVID or not. Well, all right, let's see here. We got 10 folks in. You know what? Please do say hello. Let, let me know where you're webbing in from and uh, what's on your mind. This is Mighty Fine Guitars in Lafayette, California. I'm, uh, I'm down here a little more frequently than I used to be. I used to be down here almost never, except on Friday afternoons, and now I'm selling guitars. There's a guitar going out today to South Carolina, a lovely um, uh, Goodall Dreadnought, of all things. Not, not particularly known for their Dreadnoughts, the Goodall Company, James and Luke, but this one is fantastic, and it's going to a good home uh, in South Carolina first, and then maybe points east after that, who knows. <laughs> yes, Mike, I understand. Haven't had that problem in over 40 years. Well, good to see you all. The guitar I wanted to tell you about today is by a, a not exactly a Bay Area luthier, but uh, up in uh, kind of near Napa, American Canyon. There's a wonderful builder up there called John Datlin, D-A-T-L-E-N. <coughs> John Datlin. And he builds lovely guitars, and I've been selling a ton of his guitars. One of his biggest touters is, not doubters, touters is, um, in fact, if he pops on here, I'm going to see if I can haul him into this session, but we'll find out. He builds, one of his biggest touters is uh, uh, Jason Newstead from Late of Metallica, who happened to meet up with him in the shop here, bought one of his guitars on the spot, and then has commissioned guitars subsequent to that. How about that? Proof is in the pudding. Well, this one is just gorgeous. I have just opened the case. I have not looked at this guitar at all myself. I like doing this just to get that first rush, that kind of Christmas morning rush of, uh, what have we got today? And this is, he, he oh, John, God bless you. He gives me one of these little sheets that tells me all about what I'm, what I'm holding here. It's a cutaway. It's an OM, German spruce top, Honduras rosewood back and side, Beautiful. Just lovely. Look at that. Macassar ebony bindings, which is, which is tricky because ebony can be kind of splitty, but I have, it's just fantastic work. Curly maple purfling. Look at that. Uh, Macassar ebony fretboard and bridge. Excellent. This is a wedge guitar. I hope I can do this. See how it's thicker over here 
than it is over there. It's very slightly wedged, called the Manzer wedge. It's a technique that's been used in, in uh, acoustic instrument building for quite a while, but Linda Manzer really brought it to the fore, and it just makes so much sense. The top and back do not need to be parallel to each other, even though they most frequently are. Most guitars you and I have ever seen, they are parallel to each other. They don't need to be. And when the guitar is narrower here, it fits under your arm a whole lot better, which is a problem as folks of a certain age get to a certain age. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> phlegm, phlegm check. Oh, yes. So this is a cutaway, 14 frets to the body. Standard scale, 25.4 inch scale between the, the uh, saddle and the nut. So it's long scale, would handle drop tunings really well. In fact, I'll pop it into a drop tuning here fairly soon. One and three quarters at the nut. Two and two and a quarter here as the string spacing down here at this end of things, very finger styly friendly. Go to five tens, which are among my favorite tuners. Very smooth, very easy, very accurate. I can hardly believe this is a new guitar. You know, new guitars tend to have that kind of hasn't quite arrived yet sort of sound, where. Frequently the high end is somewhat attenuated. You get kind of a, it only goes so far and then the sparkle drops off. This has, this doesn't, isn't sparkly like some brand name guitars get too sparkly. And I'll not mention them by name, but their initials are Taylor. In my humble opinion, your mileage may vary. But I find that those guitars tend to be too sparkly. It's really hard to, to get unsparkly when you want to. This one's got plenty, this guitar is brand new. It has zero mileage. And it still has a lovely, friendly high end. <clears throat> not a harsh or over sibilant high end. It's not too sizzly. Oh, and it's pretty too. I get to look at this hunk of Honduran mahogany right there. Very pretty. Cool heel, distinctive, somewhat distinctive heel of the guitar here. See how that goes. And uh, here's, here's John's headstock. Lovely guitar, John Datlin, D-A-T-L-E-N. He's asking $6,000 for this and it's worth every penny already. I can't imagine what this is gonna grow into. And a big full bass. John, you're doing something right, old son. <clears throat> I don't know what it is. Here, where there's where there's no money, as they say, there ain't no money past the twelfth fret. Yeah, there is. That's lovely. For those of you just tuning in, hello there. I'm Stevie Coyle. You're you're tuning into the Mighty Fine Guitars Friday Noontime ish webcast from Lafayette, California, 20 miles due east and only slightly north of San Francisco, on the other side of the bay, through the Caldecott Tunnel. The Tri Cities area. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> Let me see what you folks have to say. I'll get back to that real quick. Just one guitar today. Just one guitar I wanted to show you. These things tend to run way too long, and that's my fault. I apologize. I'm going to keep it short, keep it concise, keep it to one guitar today. This this Datlin OM cutaway in Honduran and German spruce. Honduran mahogany and German spruce. Let's see what y'all are saying. Uh, hey Nate, how are you? Nate Lopez is there. Fine guitar, seven string guitarist. He, he goes the extra mile. That one goes to seven, sometimes eight, I think, as well. 
Hey, Robert Barcelos, good to see you. Tom Holtman, hey, Tom, very good. Good to see you, man. Having a vacation. Bill Day is here. Joe Palace is here. I feel like Miss Nancy. And Bunny Barnes, hey there. Oh, Bunny Barnes is going live. Folks, if, if, as soon as we get done here, or even before, I might myself, jump on over and take a look at Bunny Barnes. She's gonna be going live soon here. She's, she's good. Hey, there's John. Oh, your video is buffering there a bit. I think I've got a screaming hot signal coming out of the uh, out of the shop here, and I don't see that thing where somehow, and I don't know how this works. John, is there a way you can request to join this video from where you are? John Dadlin, the builder, is on line with us right now, and sometimes I see a thing saying, "Bring them on camera, bring so and so on camera," but I don't see one for John. So, John, see if you can ask to join the, the, the webcast here, because that would be cool if we could make that work. Honduras Rosewood. Oh, Rosewood, my mistake, my mistake. I keep saying mahogany. Honduras Rosewood, thought so. It didn't look exactly like mahogany. It's very reddish, it's lovely. Sorry about that, John. Spacey, up late. Too much Netflix, man. We're hooked on Call the Midwife, which is kind of a tearjerker, but it's always very sweet, and usually has kind of a happy ending. And Vanessa Redgrave does the voiceover. And so we get stuck watching that till very late, following it up with frequently an episode or two or eight of Disenchantment, which is done by the um, the same people that do the uh, the Simpsons, same production style in certain ways, but really cool animation as well as usually pretty hilarious stuff. Anyway, I stayed up too late. Honduras Rosewood, not Honduras Mahogany. Honduras Rosewood, just like it says on the thing. I blame Obama. I'm buffering badly in North Carolina. I wish I knew what to do about that. I'm on the usual hot signal that I have here going out. And it might be just because it's wet here. Somebody might have gotten one of the cords wet. And you can always watch this later on. I'll keep, like I say, I'm going to keep this short today. <clears throat> Bill Merlin is on. Very good. Susan A.G. Borland. Very good. That's fun to say. Hi, David Leon Zink. The, the high notes really do sing. This guitar, it's, it's astonishing to me that this guitar has zero miles on it. And of course, just listening to that, I should have known it was rosewood and not mahogany. Just so accustomed to saying Honduran, Honduras mahogany. And set up beautifully as well. Just while I was playing that little bit of uh, Genesis by Yorma Kalkinen, Stumbling, doing a little stumble through of that. It occurs to me that this guitar kind of does what you want it to do. When you want to be soft, it comes right back down. When you want it to sing a little bit, when you want to punch a single note, it's very responsive. Totally comfortable guitar. And this little Manzer wedge does make a difference. It not only lets your arm fold over the top without impinging on that big bundle of nerves to quite the same degree as a full width guitar will do, it also faces the top back towards you a little bit, so I can actually hear the guitar a little better than I would another OM played in this exact same position on my leg. <laughs> I hope you're hearing that, because I'm feeling it. Just thought of something. 
tried an experiment last night. You know, I play with the, uh, the Hellman family bands, the people that put on Hardly Strictly Bluegrass. I'm one of their hired guns. And we tried a thing last night <clears throat> that worked to play together online. I've messed with Jam Kazam a bit. I've messed with Jamulus just a little bit. This is called Jack Trip. And apparently you can do Jack Trip just through your computer or you can get their little Linux box. And it worked. We had seven people. I'm, I'm torn whether or not to shout this from the rooftops on Facebook and so other social media or to keep it to myself. It's so cool. But you folks, you folks, because you tuned in today, I'm going to tell you about this Jack Trip box. You want the Jack, uh, if you want the same thing that we had last night that worked for seven of us at the same time. Now, we were all in the San Francisco Bay Area, but the latency was entirely manageable, and we played music together for the first time online ever. It's quite remarkable. The Jack Trip Virtual Studio, the box is what you want, the device, they call it. It's a little white box, and you, it's, it's got some crazy things you need to do to plug into it. The, the output for your headphones is RCA. So you need an RCA to female headphone connector. And the input to the device is an eighth inch, is a 3.5 millimeter, you know, an eighth inch plug. So it's all kind of backwards what you'd expect. But doggone if it didn't work. Jack Trip Virtual Studio device. I think they were 150 bucks a piece. But for playing together, my God, it worked. It really did not. I've, at home, I've got a screaming hot uh, upload thing. I, I went for the gigabit service, and uh, I realize this is completely off topic. But I went for the gigabit service, and I'm wired in with Ethernet. Now, you do need to have Ethernet working. That's what goes into the Jack Trip box, and you're online on your Wi Fi <clears throat> on a laptop or a desktop. But it worked, and it was really, really fun. John Datlin, O.M., Cutaway, German Spruce, Honduran Rosewood, and a one and three quarters at the nut, two and a quarter at the, uh, at the saddle. Wow. Totally lovable guitar, $6,000 worth every cent. Let me take a look here and see if uh, John was able to activate that thing. I'm not sure how that works. Joe Corley, yeah, Joe, you'd be interested in this. Thank you, Leah. Hey, Steve and Michelle Barber. Hey, and there's Joe Corley. Joe Corley, you'd be totally interested in this. I'll go back to show you what you'd be interested in. That's what Leah says anyway. Uh, John is online to answer any questions you might have about this here guitar. Can't find a way to bring him on camera. Let me see if I can do that on this end. Sorry for experimenting on you folks, but uh, nah, doesn't seem like there is a way to do that. That's goofy. Well, shucks. Buffering Portland. Well, it looks like the buffering may be on this end. Sorry about that, kids. You can always come back and watch this afterwards, and it's arguably better in repeats. Well then.
No pressing questions? I'll just play a little bit more and we'll call it good for the day. What a lovely thing. And yes, folks, guitars are getting sold here. Like I said, I'm shipping one off to South Carolina today. Uh, the fellow, we did a little session like this on Zoom or FaceTime or Skype or one of those things. And the fellow loved it and he's, uh, he's buying the guitar. If you want to come down to the shop sometime, make an appointment with me online. Just uh, Stevie and you know the MightyFindGuitars.com email is somehow screwed up. It's perched on top of two other things, perched on top of G Suite and perched on top of Squarespace and Media Temple and all this stuff. So it's not working too well right now. If you want to email me, just StevieCoyle at gmail.com is the one that seems to always work. <laughs> email me, we'll set up or call me. How retro would that be, you know? Just 925-268-8226, Yak Ant Taco. If you just spell that out on your phone, Yak Ant Taco, I'll pick up the phone on the other end. And we can set up an appointment where you can come and sit out on the in the warm of the day, and it's warm, reasonably warm today, out on the picnic tables out here, and I'll bring guitars out to you. You can play as many as you want. It's easy as pie. If there's, some, if there's one or two or three that you really like, take them home and mess with them for a day or two. And then bring back the ones that, uh, that you don't love and keep the one that you do. You know, that's how it works. For those of you that are out of the area altogether, take a look at the website, which is getting updated as we speak, I hope. I've got teenage kids, man. They, you just never know. But I think that, get, that uh, website is getting updated as we speak, and there's lots of new guitars going up with pretty pictures and everything. And if there's something that tickles your fancy there, we can do a session like this. If it feels good... I'll ship you the guitar. If you love it, keep it. I'll cash the check, put through the credit card, whatever. If not, ship it back and pay for shipping both ways, and that's that's all you got to do. Easy as pie. Almost as easy as pie. Totally fun guitar. John Datlin, OMC. Let me check and make sure there's no final questions or comments. And we'll toddle right along and make this a short one today. Where do you go after that? Where would I go after that guitar? Hey, good miner. John Mooney. Hey, John Mooney. Go Broncos. Frank Vitusky. Hey, folks. Frank, would you type in and tell us whether or not you're back doing your, your webcasts? Wonderful fingerstyle guitarist. Also, uh, a Yorma file, and uh, Frank, l let us know if you're still if you're doing your webcasts again. I know you were taking a little break there. Renee Hermosa, hey Renee and Dennis, nice to see you. Very good. Portland, Maine, oh good, very good. Rick Sky, Joe Corley, Joe Corley, I hope you saw what what you got hauled in here. What Leah Queen said to haul you in here for. 
it well balanced with a great big voice. I'll play just a little bit more. I can't help myself. So, you know, I thought of one more thing I wanted to tell you. On Monday nights, I do a little webcast from my home, but I have guests. The software platform or the software uh, that I use allows for this new feature called uh, interview mode. And if you go back, you know, it doesn't show up automatically. If you go to my page, well, here you are on my page, presumably. If you go up to the more option, it'll say, you know, photos, friends, all that kind of stuff, more. If you pop down to videos, you can take a look back without scrolling all the way back through my crawl loaded with lefty propaganda as it is. You can, you can take a look at the videos there. Last Monday, we had Alex DeGrassi came on, played a bunch of tunes, we gabbed back and forth. Had Adam Miller the week before that. Had uh, Walter Strauss, I've had uh, Bill Kirchin. Uh, Daniel Levitin is coming up. This next Monday is uh, at 7.30 Pacific time on my wall there, my personal wall. Strangely enough, not the Stevie Coyle music band page, just Stevie Coyle. This next Monday is a duo out of Oakland, California that are just terrific. Tony Marcus and Patrice Hahn, and they call themselves Leftover Dreams, and they're terrific. The, uh, Tony Marcus you perhaps know from the Cheap Suit Serenaders or Cats and Jammers, best known for those things. Patrice Hahn plays harp and sings velvety vocals. They're just terrific together. And they will be, as I like to say, handspringing their way through the Great American Songbook this next Monday night. Tony's one of those guys that knows all the chords. He knows all the chords, even them chords with numbers in them. Right, Nate? He's one of them guys, and it's always an education to watch him play and to hear, and totally entertaining folks. The two of them together are, it's one plus one equals five or six with the two of those folks. Tony Marcus and Patrice Hahn, that's Monday night at 7.30, and just checking to make sure that there's a hasty. Hey, Mar Mark Baronke, there he is. Very good. Frank Fateski, write this down and say it out loud because it's another name that's really fun to say. Frank Fateski is, uh, he'll be up and running again on Wednesday. Interface issues, interfa interfaith, you old Jesuit you. Oh, I've misread. Interface issues are resolved. There we go. Yes, I did actually. Mark Baronke, I did tell him all about Jack Tripp. It, well, not as much as I know about it, it's just that it works. And check it out. It works. And I think that's all I have to tell you this week, folks. John Datlin, one more look at his fabulous guitar, $6,000, and it will make you happy. That's all these boxes are good for, is to make you happy. As my grandmother from vaudeville used to say, yeah, and she always had a cigarette and a glass of whiskey and eating greasy chicken gizzards, and she died of mysterious causes at the age of 99. She'd say, uh, yeah, you know, some things are expensive, but the most expensive thing of all is regret. So I'll leave you with that thought. And tick, 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 tick. You can put the two together. Very good. Nice to see you, folks. 
there's no elegant way for me to end the show except to stand up and crawl over there and punch a button. But uh, thanks for tuning in. Stevie Coyle here from Mighty Fine Guitars in Lafayette, California. Check me out online, MightyFineGuitars.com. And thanks for tuning in here. Uh, you, can, you can like and friend and all of those things that didn't used to be verbs. Friend is now a verb, apparently. So if there's room, friend me up. And if not, just, you know, sign up for something good. All right, down the road, everybody. Let's see. It's, uh, it's a new button, and it's right there.